Hi everyone, so um, I have just made this contraption which is a rectangular downpipe adapter. Uh, I can put a photo of it um, to show you what that looked like before I taped it all up. But the, the adapter actually is the correct size to cover the air vent. So I have used that and I've used um, ducting tape um, to attach it to my dashboard and then I have this stuff here which is I guess air conditioning for air conditioning um, what's it called it's oh, it's just builders edge duct uh, duct foil foil duct so I've used that and that stretches out so that I can lead it into the back of the cab so it's a bit chilly tonight so I'm going to actually put the heat on in here down here I'm going to put the heat on um, start off with just put that up there and so the the hot air is going to blow through here all the way into the back of my cab over there it's a bit messy but you get the idea and then I'm gonna see because I'm a bit concerned when it comes to summer I did <laughs> one summer already and oh my gosh the heat was just um, too much so I'm hoping the air con the cool air will do the same just as well um, in the summertime to keep me cool or at least cool me down when I'm having a sleep in the back um, so yeah let's test this out eh so here we are inside the back <laughs> and um, that's what that looks like from this angle <laughs> um, and I've just kind of covered it there and it definitely feels much warmer <laughs> in, in the back so you know I, I've been looking at diesel heaters and things like that and what kind of air conditioning to to get um like i said summertime was really hot inside um and during the day i just really felt like sleeping because um it was just way too hot in the van and i couldn't really function doing anything else unless i went to the beach um so yeah so it's either just stay out of the van when it's hot i'll go to the beach and then just sleep when it's hot inside but um i really wanted to find a solution and um, like I said, the auto electrician that I go to to do all my power, um, you know, we kind of had a bit of a brainstorm and this is what we came up with and it works and I might actually um, run it underneath, underneath here, at the moment I've got all of this, but I might actually turn it around and sit it here and then close this up close the curtain a bit more so it's there's more it's more sealed and then that fits perfectly so it's wedged up against the storage there and it'll be covered up it'll be covered up there so yeah how good is that and then the curtain just sits on top of it and yeah, the heat or the cold air comes through here, depending on what I have it on, which is um, actually pretty cool. So yes, tried and tested, or tested, yes, tried and tested, that's what they say, is um, the makeshift heating um, solution to come out of Bunnings, actually. <laughs> but I have another one and I'll show it to you in a minute. So the other day I went to Bunnings and I bought quite a few things um, and this 3-in-1 mini USB air cooler is actually one I've had before. I got it, the other one online. Um, I was watching just Facebook ads, they just get me and I just want to buy everything. Obviously the algorithm picks up what we want, um, what we're looking at. So. Yes, at the time, it was air coolers for the van. Um, but this one was only like $25 from Bunnings. Um, the other one that I got was about $50, and that was because I left it in my cart for so long, they, they
they actually offered me half price and it ended up being cheaper um, and that one actually worked it was about the same size it looked really nice but, um, but yeah it ended up falling off the, the bench <laughs> so <laughs> it that wasn't good at all I should yeah so I've learnt my lesson secure everything and now I have so many solutions to be able to not have things break so let's have a look at this I'll just move that down and yeah this one is actually um, a three-in-one mini USB air cooler by click and it is USB chargeable so obviously that's why it's called mini USB air cooler and what you do is you put water in it and um, plug it in and the cold air comes through here and you know you got to watch um, the water level because when it goes right down it could actually burn out your en your engine your motor in here um, which isn't good and you know really good so um, this is my second unit the the air coolers do work um, and the USB ones like I've only got 12 volts so I'm really happy that I can find products that are 12 volt for my van and yeah it just looks like a really easy um, easy to use first time use please remove the filter from the appliance remove its wrapping and then replace the filter in the appliance so so it's, it seems pretty easy um, yeah so comes with a the manual there's the how to remove that filter there and then put it back in and then plug it in um, yeah just put the, and then you just put water in it and then it should work There's the water level. Oh wow! And it lights up and it. <laughs> hey. That is so cool. And um, what I usually do, well, what I did with my last one, I had the little um, water bottles that you can get. So a pack of six little water bottles, the mini ones, because they fit in my little fridge. Um, and I put my fridge on really high so it was nearly icy and then it um, yeah and then I put it in here like in in the cooler and it was and it just blew cold air it was really really good so this one I mean that is that's just water from my um, 20 litre water tank um, from the sink so and that's not even that cold tonight so but it's cold enough and I can feel the air coming out so that's actually really good so yeah it even has like a timer, but it's a fan and a light. Ah, oh, the light is so cool. I didn't even realize that's what I was buying. <laughs> Bonus! And I guess that's a really good way to check the water level. So like I said before, if it goes down and you just keep it on, um, it just, yeah, it could damage your unit. So probably a um, good idea to just keep checking on it. Um, so you don't really want to be falling asleep. Um, or, um, or maybe just for the first time, keep an eye on the time, how long it takes for it to go down. And then, yeah, you can put an alarm to 
um, remind you that you've got to put more water in if you want or maybe just give the unit a rest so you're not burning it out but there you go there's my um, heating cooling solutions um, one which is the which is the ducting there which goes there so yay that works and trying out my new click air cooler which is very tiny so this is I don't know what to use for scale uh, maybe my toothbrush <laughs> there you go so um, that's the size of my toothbrush and that's the size of the unit so that's it's actually really good really compact and and that's what I need in my van because I'm really running out of real estate in here <laughs> it's very crowded but um I don't mind I don't mind actually because I'm using things that I had before um, and you know using it till it's all gone um, wearing clothes till they're all gone I'm not buying anything else so you know things like that where I think it's crowded now but eventually you know things get used up and thrown away and that's what I'm trying to do is um, the priority is um, getting the things that I actually need um, and being coming up to summer and I want to actually travel out back um, so in more remote and rural areas and it can get up between 30 to 40 degrees Celsius so um, you know finding the solutions with the um, the air conditioning in the cab coming through to the back um, without having to use 240 volt um, and just using what I have which is the you know the air conditioning while I've got the engine on um, I think that's a pretty good cheap solution um, to cooling the the back of the, the van uh, this is really cool I really am happy with this you know I wasn't um, actually looking for it in particular I just happened to be at Bunnings um, looking for something else <laughs> the, all the ducting stuff and this just happened to be something I passed by while I was looking for the um, the ducting tape so good find and I think for what the price was $25 and this is blowing out cool air already like just just with normal water from my sink and it hasn't been cooled so can you imagine well I can imagine that if I put the water from the tap into the fridge freeze it, like you know have it almost frozen and then pour it into this it is going to be so nice in the back like cooling down when it's like 30 to 40 degrees Celsius in the cab um, because I have insulation um, but I also have aluminium um, signboard <laughs> instead of like you know the wood panels that everybody uses so yeah I just thought um, this aluminium which you know is really good it's easy to you know wipe and it, it's reflective so you can probably see how reflective it is because those are my cute lights I really love that it reflects um, so that string of lights look really cute so that's my that's what I'm using is aluminium board but when it's hot it in here it get everything gets hot so you know and it's the same with heat it holds the heat so these little solutions that are cheap and easy and um, fun <laughs> uh, I just like have being you know a bit of a child at heart kind of person I still love my unicorns and you know my no drama llamas <laughs> but I need to have a bit of happiness um, I do have like you know I do love my other themes in here the Asian theme that I got going um, and just the little spiritual notes as well so uh, for me you know I'm trying to keep it keep it real for myself um, and a bit of a balance of my personality um, those those minimalist ones that's just not me those minimalist vans just not me uh, that's this is just my personality I, I love art I bought these you know from Loomis gallery and you know I, it fine art is something that I really love um, and I love doing art myself so I kind of want to keep inspired and that's one way to do it is just surrounding myself with the things that I love um, and just reflects my personality so anyway that is uh, my solutions for the upcoming summer and preparing for my outback adventures or at least my rural outback adventures that's to come bye